All right, so I'm at Walgreens, and right now they have the Marvel Legends $9.99 for the um, Avengers or $9.99 for the X-Men. So let's see what we have here. So none of these. Perhaps Emma Fall, Process. Emma would be a part of that, but do I really want her? Not really. They still got freaking Namor here. That's crazy. It's been here for years. There's all of them back there. Namor, after Namor, after Namor. But uh, anyway, let's see what else we got here. We got, um, got a cannonball. So that would apply. And I've heard of people like just bringing stuff up and they're getting it discounted, but oh, I don't see anything over here, guys. Not at all, actually. And that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> All right guys, so that was a quick peek at the Walgreens Legend sale. So nothing much for me. Uh, I usually don't find anything at Walgreens, but that's okay. I'm here at Walmart now because they have the WWE or Masters of the WWE uh, Wave 2 figures, hopefully in here. They are out. I don't know if they're at this one, so we're gonna go check it out. All right guys, so we'll start with some NECA goodness. We got all the Toonie Terrors here. Uh, wave one at least, all the Pennywises, um, Jason and Freddy, and we still have this Evil Dead 2 Ash, which I already have. Pop-wise, they got some exclusives. They got the Android 16. They have the Floating Death Crystal Morty right there. What else did they have? What was cool? Oh yeah, the Stock Holiday. I like the movie Tombstone, that's pretty sweet right there. That is tempting. He has his pistols. Very cool. Uh, then they got Chatter from Hellraiser 3. And then, um, yeah, they got that King Cold right there. Pretty dope. Cool Pops, I do want that. Michael Jordan, the um, Walmart exclusive, what was it? The uh, North Carolina one? That would be sweet. All right, Legends wise, kind of the same old, same old. These will go on clearance very soon, so I can I can hold out on those. But we got another Federal Bill. We got Rescue War Machine. These are uh, sixteen eighty two. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, Transformers. They got Astro Train. And they still still got a ton of these uh, sound waves. I'm waiting for that to go down too. Uh, crap load of tapes. But uh, Transformer wise. More Transformers. There we go. What is that? Earth Rise that everybody's going nuts over right now. I don't. I don't see any of those. Um. Aha! This is what I was looking for. Oh, there they are. There they are. So there's Roman Reigns. Uh, there's the Faker John Cena. I want the Macho Man, but I don't see him. So they got Red Mysterio, Macho Man, Roman Reigns, and Faker John Cena in this, in this way. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Faker John Cena today. That's pretty dope. Star Wars wise, they still have, let's see, the Skiff for 40, Jabba's Palace for 50. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this to go down because I'll definitely jump on that. Fortnite wise, they do have Beef Boss, which is freaking. Looks amazing. It really does for an action figure. That looks just like a lot of fun. So tempting. There's quite a few of them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about you, Beef Boss. Maybe. But then Mega Constructs, they got the Call of Duty. They got all the Halos and they restocked even more with more than Motu. So you got Skeletor, Boss Man, Prince Adam. Evil Land and Stratos. All right, guys, and I'm back, and it's Nark at night. It is nighttime. I am on a nighttime hunt. 
well, whatever that is. I mean, it's only 7.52, but with daylight savings time and all that stuff, it feels a lot later. But anyway, I ended up picking up that John Cena, the faker. So he is translucent and that is freaking amazing. I love that about this line. I'm not a John Cena fan, but I love faker and I love translucent plastic. So there you go. I got that. And you know what? I was a sucker. I got suckered into getting the Beef Boss. So I got Beef Boss right there. Pretty cool. I know this is horrible quality, but I will show you a better look at the stuff later on. So I'm gonna hit up another Walmart to try to find that Macho Man Randy Savage figure. And uh, yeah, let's see what else we can find. All right guys, so we are at Walmart number two. So let's check it out. Starting off with the McFarlane Multiverse. Looks like we got nothing but a bunch of Batmans. No spawn, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Marvel Legends, kind of the same thing we saw at the last Walmart. Yep, pretty much same exact thing. There's those dudes. Power Rangers. And we got some Transformers down here. Don't see any of the Earthrise ones, no. And there we go. There you go, Macho Man, Randy Savage. They are full on the pegs. I have to get this one. I have to get this one. Let's see what else they have. I got that one, I got that one last night. And they have the Stratos Ray Mysterio. Put that right there for a second. He looks freaking cool too. I mean, obviously I'm gonna get all of them, but has a jetpack so cool he might be i don't know i mean i love the macho man but that's just cool we got them all here they got these office pots out already i think these are fairly new but that's pretty cool all right so they do have these masters boxes um they have battle damage skeletor at jet 2 not jet 2 but um Freaking this down. Stinkor. And then these are all open. So somebody went through those guys already. And so there must not be anything too crazy there. And then you got the Predator ones down here. And then up here, kind of the usual. You got Karate Kid. You got Golden Girls. And then you got Ace right there. This is really cool. They have the Egyptian mummy by Remco, which is pretty cool. Pretty sweet. So I'm gonna have to pass on that. And then just the usual NECA right there. So I'm back from Walmart and I got what I wanted, which is always a great feeling. Um, I picked up the Macho Man Randy Savage, like the battle armored uh, version. So I got that. They had Rey Mysterio and Roman Reigns too, but I'm just gonna wait on pick them up later. But uh, yeah, check this out. He is fighting John Cena's faker right there. And there's the other two you can get. So that is pretty rad. Excited to uh, I'm gonna complete this freaking line. It's so cool. So we got, what, another wave? or two coming out but yeah so far i'm 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 i will be caught up which is amazing so anyway guys we're gonna go back to the narc layer i'm gonna <clears throat> open up all of these figures and um yeah let's do that here we are back at the narc layer and we are going to start off with the masters of the wwe faker john cena he comes with that a uh, little durag headband with the chain and lock and the weapon assessor and he comes with the these two like uh it says life and good life or something like that i am not into wrestling so that might be a john cena thing but i just love this figure uh, i love the translucent uh blue uh, i love the posability all the articulation for these type of figures so moving on we got the macho man macho man so this looks like it's supposed to be the battle damage He-Man, but also kind of like a nod to Man-at-Arms kind of, but this little, his little do-rag pops off. 
He's like, oh yeah. But there is Macho Man right there. There's your hat. Have fun, sir. And then the Beef Boss is next. Like I said, it, it was kind of like an impulse grab, but he has like 40 points of articulation. He has uh, another one of these pistols. He has a bomb in, or the dynamite in his hand. He has the French fry backpack, as you can see, with his ketchup and mustard. He has a spatula for another, as another accessory uh, in his head. It's just freaking, freaking cool. It's a hamburger action figure, kind of like Peely. This is the McFarlane version of Peely, but uh, just like that, it kind of reminded me of something similar to when I got Peely. It's just freaking cool even though they're not in scale with each other, but cool action figures, great pickups. I got, I still have Stratus or the uh, or Ray Mysterio and Roman Reigns to pick up and I'll be finished with wave two for the masters of the WWE. So that is cool. Fortnite, I mean, if they keep on coming out with cool figures like this, I'll pick them up because that is amazing. All right guys, so if you made it to this part of the video that means you'll probably care with what I'm about to say. So I had planned to go to Toylana next Friday, almost a week from today or a week from today, whenever I post this video, I don't know. Um, so that of course is gonna get canceled. So that really, really sucks because of all this coronavirus stuff going on. And uh, on top of that, uh, I've been teasing the past like three videos or so that I have another stop. So what I was gonna do, I was going to spend the day at Toylana on Saturday, and then I was gonna hop on the airplane, fly to Ohio, meet up with uh, Cincy, Josh Pence, Toy Bills, and we were gonna go to the Columbus Toy Show, but that is now canceled too, so, which I totally understand. It, it, it sucks, but everybody's gotta be safe. So guys, be safe out there. Um, I know some people are like, oh, it's an overreaction or uh maybe it's not i don't know but we'll find out so guys thank you for watching thank you for coming along stay tuned uh for my next video i might do some toy photography it's been a minute i think i forgot how to do it it's been that long so we'll find out peace